Hello, Commanders, and welcome back to uh, Elite the Dangerous Return from Beagle Point. We are currently located here in uh, the whatever sector this is, <laughs> the Rikers Hope region, uh, heading to Sagittarius A-Star. We're returning from Beagle Point, which is way back over here, on our way back to the bubble where Earth and all of our home stuff is. Uh, the purpose of the journey has been to increase our ex uh, exobiology rank to the elite status, as well as hopefully gain enough money to purchase a fleet carrier so that we can head out into the black with that and all of our ships, maybe even take a few people along for the ride. Today's topic of discussion is going to be being antisocial. Um, yeah, I'm super, super, super antisocial. <laughs> uh, and there's just some people in the world who really struggle with social interaction. Um, for someone like me, who is probably the very definition of an introvert, uh, whenever you're in a situation, whenever you're in a social situation, whenever you have to interact with people, especially people that you're not super, super comfortable with, uh, it's like drain, it, it drains your batteries. Like we all have a social battery and different people have different ways of charging that battery. For me, being, ar being away from, uh, pe being around people like is a drain on me and I try to avoid it as much as I possibly can. Now, obviously no person is an island. Nobody can be by themselves all the time. And you know, um, I like to have certain select people in my life, uh, namely my wife and you know, my family and things like that. Uh, I've never been one who has been the kind of person who has lots of friends and for, you know, a significant portion of my life, if you don't count my wife, um, I haven't had any friends. Um, and it's kind of weird because I've seen, I've seen uh, people online who make videos, of, you know, kind of feeling sorry for themselves because they don't have any friends. And on the one hand, I can understand that, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just kind of weird or psychopathic or something. And I, I actually I'm actually kind of happy that I don't have lots of friends. And you know, the biggest reason for that is is that you know having friends means that. Yeah, you're going to have obligations. They're going to expect things from you. They're going to expect you to answer when they send you a text message or if they send you a phone call or, you know, whatever it is that they end up trying to have some kind of an interaction with you. There's an expectation that you're going to respond. Um, I'm the kind of person who hates phone calls, mostly because it forces me to stop what I'm doing and focus on whatever it is that this person needs because, you know, uh, they want to talk to me about whatever it is that they want to talk to me about, and I can't do two things at the same time, so I have to stop what I'm doing so I can listen and respond and hear what they're saying and all of that other stuff. And, you know, for someone like me who uh, really hates having to stop what I'm doing, it's super exasperating to have to do that. Uh, because, you know, I like to I like to do what I want to do. And, you know, it's this very selfish attitude. I'm fully aware of that. And I'm not necessarily proud of it, but I'm, I'm old enough now that I just I don't care anymore. <laughs> no, I don't I don't really care. Like, as long as I'm not being selfish to the point where I'm like actually hurting people, I, I don't care about being a selfish person anymore. I've just I've come to accept that aspect of myself and I don't care enough about it uh, as a concept to change. Like if the person is important enough to me, I'll, I'll suck it up and do what they need me to do. But in general, I don't really care about being selfish. Uh, as long as I'm not hurting anybody with it, it's not something that bothers me specifically. So, uh, you know, that part of me makes me not want to make friends because the more friends you have, the more people you have in your life, the more obligations you're going to have, and the more you're going to have to, you know, stop what you're doing to help other people with the things that they need help with because that's part of what having friends and being, you know, having those kinds of relationships is all about. You know, sharing yourself with other people and, you know, living up to the obligations that are placed on you because of those relationships. Uh, you know, main, one of the biggest things that I generally don't, don't, I'm generally trying to avoid is things like helping people move. <laughs> Excuse me, I was taking a drink there. I'm having to do a lot of extra talking today. Um, you know, one of the reasons I moved into my travel trailer was to get to the point where I didn't have to move anymore. I've moved so many times in my life that I am, and I'm so sick of moving furniture that I just, I can't, I can't even begin to tell you how much I can't stand it anymore. And, you know, one of the big things that friends in the back asking you to do is to help them move their house. And I'm like, I never want to move a piece, I never want to move a couch or move a piece of furniture ever again. I don't want to do it anymore, ever. Leave me alone. <laughs> That's just how, kind of how I feel about it. And, uh, you know, so, um, you know, uh, obligations in general, but like, oh, 
Oh, we left that other one in the last episode. There was a, there was a, oh, but it was too far away. Where's this one's only 872 and it's only one biological source and we're not, we're not late enough into the episode for uh, it to make sense for us to spend the time on that. Uh, Cause we're not really looking for a place to land. So I'm really trying to get to, uh, really trying to find at least two biological sources if we can get that. Um, so, you know, friends equal obligations and that's just kind of how I've always felt about it. And I've been mostly content to, uh, you know, avoid friendships for that reason. Now, on the other side of that, friends also equal help and assistance, and there have been a few times in my life where I regretted not having friends because it makes it, when you get into those parts where you need somebody to step in and help you with something, it kind of sucks to not have anybody there to step in and help you with something. Um, you know, especially when, you know, uh, in the last episode, you heard me talk. If you watched that episode, you heard me talking about the truck situation and all the other different things, vehicle repairs. Uh, you know, there, there are certain situations where it is much nicer when you have somebody to, you know, help you get through a situation by providing you with assistance. And of course, yet again, oh, this sucks. <laughs> we got to turn back around because it didn't quite get enough. We're going to, it's going to be another one of those things where we're going to pop into the cloud, pop into the stream. And it's immediately going to give it to us because we didn't. We just popped out of it right when it. Warning: shift drive operating beyond safety. Oh, I guess we needed quite a. No, yeah, like I said, we just needed like another half a second, and it would have been. It would have been fine. Um, you know, there are going to be situations where it might not be impossible to get something done, but it would be much easier if you had somebody to assist you. Uh, and you know realistically at least for me those situations have been very very few and far between but then when you get into those situations you look at your antisocial behavior and you start saying man i wish i i wish i was a little bit more i wish i was a little bit more gregarious <laughs> i wish I, I wish i had a little bit more patience for other people i wish i had a little bit more i wish i had a little bit more top oh there's a water world should, we should definitely go check that out I uh, wish I had a little bit more tolerance for, you know, the needs the needs of other people. Did we target it? And you know what? I don't feel like flying 7,000 things for that, so we're just going to go. All right, moving on. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh, friends, friends also equal assistance. Uh, so, you know... It's one of those things where it's about it's a it's a trade off. Uh, if you're gonna have friends, then you have to deal with the fact that they're gonna need help on occasion, and they're gonna expect you to step up and help them, and you're gonna have to sacrifice your time and resources and all of that stuff to uh, get them through whatever it is that they need to get through. But then on the other side, when you need help, you know they're gonna be there for you when you need them to be there for you. Ideally, if you have good friends, obviously, if you're not dealing with parasites, that's a whole different story. But you know, in a in a re reasonably reciprocal relationship where you're you have friends that are you know have your interests at heart as just the same as you have their interests at heart, you know they're going to be there to help you. You're going to be there to help them. But then you also have to you know accept the fact that you have to be there to help them. <laughs> and if you're a selfish person uh, like me, that's something that you don't necessarily want to have to deal with. Um, you know, I like being able to spend my time the way I want to spend my time. And I don't want to have to stop what I'm doing to go help somebody else. But then at the same time, when I need something, you know, it makes it to where I, I don't have anybody to ask to help me when I have a problem. So it kind of just kind of it's one of those things in life where you have to struggle. There's a struggle to like balance, you know, wishing you had one thing while not being willing to sacrifice for to, to get it. And I think like a lot of that. I think that applies to a lot of things in life, and it applies to a lot of things in my life. I, I could probably be, oh, I definitely could be a lot further along in my life than I am if I had been willing to make the sacrifices that I needed to make at the time to get where I could be. Uh, but I just wasn't willing to make those sacrifices because the cost in my mind was more than I wanted to pay for what I could have potentially gotten out of whatever the situation is. Now, a lot of that is, you know, a lot of that is just selfishness i don't i'm not i'm not willing to give of myself for other people most of the time and you know like i said i'm not proud of it i've just accepted that that's a part of who i am and it's just you know i think most of us are like that we just we suck it up when we have to and some people are more willing to suck it up than others i don't i think a lot of people 
I don't think that most people have a genuine desire to sacrifice their time to help other people. It's something that we put up with because we accept, we understand that the social interactions that we have generally are going to put us in a better situation overall than just trying to do everything by ourselves. Um, you know, the the average person is basically a selfish person, and we do selfless things mostly because there's a selfish end to it. Whether it's because you think you're going to get something, or you're going to get some kind of security, or even you know, even if it, even if it, even if what the what's going on there? Okay, let's uh, let's get these turned on. And we'll repair it. Oh! I keep forgetting that you can't do that while the freaking thing's running. Alright. <clears throat> I didn't think we'd gone through so many neutron stars. I gotta be... Well, fortunately, we're only... We're only uh, 61 jumps from Sagittarius A star, and there's a station there, so we'll be able to repair everything. We'll even be able to get the paint kind of fixed on it, but uh, yeah, we don't have that many jumps left, and hopefully I won't run into any more high gravity planets that are going to completely tank my <laughs> tank my ship. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get this repaired. We'll get back on the road. Uh, see if we'll do a few more jumps and see if we can find anything. Like I said in the last episode. I'm trying to make these uh, relatively short episodes because um, I'm having to do extra episodes to catch up with where I'm supposed to be. So let's get this started up and then we'll start moving on and then we'll finish out the subject for today. Okay. Cool. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I think, I think most people it's rare to find somebody who is truly selfless. I mean, and I mean selfless in a way where they seriously have zero consideration for themselves. Even people who do, even most people who do charity, the vast majority of people who do charity because they want to do charity, they do that because it makes them feel good. They get something out of it, even if it isn't something that's physical or, you know, something that benefits them in a material way. Uh, they get some kind of emotional something out of it and so you know it's it's kind of hard to not find a situation where there's some kind of selfless or to find to actually find a truly selfless situation um let's see red dwarf star okay that should be that should be something we could fuel off of we're really low on fuel at this point excuse me so yeah like i said uh I being antisocial is one of those things that just is going to make your life harder. If you're one, if you're the kind of person who struggles to, you know, deal with being around people and you are trying to avoid social interaction as much as you can, you are by extension limiting your opportunities to, you know, have a better life because the reality is is that it's only through working with other people that we're able to maximize our ability to get things done, maximize our ability to find better ways to live our lives, to uh, you know get access to the kinds of opportunities, whether it be work or social or whatever it is that. Uh, and I'm trying to keep the sun horizon light on so I can actually see what I'm doing here. Um, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to get done, almost always it's going to be all right we gotta damn it i was really trying to avoid that now we have to turn back around and do this um you're always going to be able to get more out of your life when you collaborate with other people um because for whatever reason I don't know what the reason is, but it's just kind of the way that it works. Uh, there's like an exponential return on investment when you start involving other people in your situations. Almost always with almost every situation. It's just kind of the way that it works. Actually, do we have anything interesting in the system? We do not. My air conditioning turned off and now it feels all quiet in here. <laughs> Anyways, um, you know... The antisocial thing is just going to be one of those things that makes your life harder. That being said, I personally like having no friends because 
for the vast majority of the time, there I don't need anything from anybody else, and I don't really want anybody to need anything from me, and it's nice being able to just kind of do what I want when I want. And, you know, that does mean that, you know, when I need something, it's really going to suck because I'm not going to have anybody there to, you know, step in and help me figure out the situation or provide help, you know, help provide me with the things that I need to overcome whatever the problem is. But it's just, you know, it's it's you have to pick your poison. You know, you're going to spend your time. You're going to spend your you have to figure out how you're going to spend your time and how you want to spend your time. And for me, you know, that means. I was really hoping we we're gonna get lucky and have some things that would just pop up for me. Uh, you know, for me, for me, it's it's much much more beneficial, or I don't want to say beneficial. It's much more preferential to me to be able to you know spend the vast majority of my time doing what I want, and then when things come up, it's harder to deal with than it. Man, is there just nothing? I guess everything's all the way over there. We need to go to the next system. Man, I'm, I'm trying to like close out the episode. It just won't let me. <laughs> um, it's 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 just it's what what is it worth to you? Everybody's going to be different. For me personally, I like I, it's much more valuable to me to have my time free for me and to have very few interruptions with any of that than it is for the very few times that something happens and I need help and nobody's there to help me. Um, and that's just a, that's a value judgment. You individually have to kind of, you know, learn to de learn to deal with that. But you know, the everybody's being antisocial is just going to be one of those things that's going to make your life harder. It is going to be harder for you, um, and you just you have to learn to accept that, or you have to learn to overcome being antisocial and all of the you know kind of crazy ridiculous things that come with dealing with other people. Uh, you're gonna have to pick one. You're gonna you're gonna struggle one way or another. Uh, there is no getting out of the struggle. If you're antisocial, there is no getting out of the struggle. You're gonna you're gonna deal with it. Okay. Why do we keep getting these situations where there's no? Okay. Here we go. All right. Can we get some? Uh, can we get some bodies that are gonna allow us to land? That would be nice. There we go. Oh, 50. come on. We just keep getting all of these things. All of these ones that are thousands, tens of thousands of light seconds away. Let's move on to the next planet and next system and hope that we get done. That's more or less what I had to say for the topic of discussion for today. I, I could try to drone on for another few minutes, but realistically, um, you know, I'm just trying to find a place to land. And honestly, I think I might just do that off camera because my throat hurts and I don't want to keep talking. So we're going to go ahead and call that an episode. Hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click the like button if you did so that the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing now so that when the next video comes out, it'll show up in your feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click the join button, check out the list of options available there, and decide if any of those are right for you. If you're not interested in a channel membership but would like to support the channel, you can always leave YouTube's version of a tip with that thanks button. Direct contributions are greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this channel into a full-time gig, which is the dream. So again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you enjoyed the flight. Be sure to come back for the next one, and I'll see you then.